If you're traveling to Washington, D.C., I've got all the information about our airports that you need to decide which one is best for you. There are three airports in the Washington, D.C. area. Reagan National Airport, or DCA, is the closest, just across the Potomac River from downtown. Dulles International Airport, or IAD, is about 30 miles away in Virginia. And Baltimore Washington International, or BWI, is about 40 miles away in Maryland. Technically, BWI is the airport for Baltimore, but in the 1970s, they renamed it Baltimore Washington International and very clearly want people traveling to or from Washington, D.C. to use it. So as far as I'm concerned, and for the purpose of this video, it's a DC airport. All else equal, Reagan National is the closest and most convenient. But which airport is best for you depends on several variables, including the airfare, whether it's nonstop or a connecting flight, and what time of day it departs or arrives. So Dulles or BWI might actually be best for you, given your unique situation. Let's dig in and talk about each airport in depth, plus ground transportation options and the cost of getting into the city from the airport. But before we do, hello, my name is Rob. I'm a tour guide and the founder of TripHacks DC Tours. On this channel, I share my best tips, tricks, and hacks for visitors who want to explore Washington, D.C. And I'm curious to know, have you flown to Washington, D.C. before? Which airport did you use and how did it go? Leave a comment down there and let me know. Most Washingtonians are of the opinion that Reagan National Airport is by far the superior option due to its excellent location and convenience. In fact, between its proximity to the city and excellent connection to public transportation, it might just be one of the most convenient airports in the entire country. Also, just so you know, I'm referring to this airport by its full official name, but most locals simply refer to it as National, and most tourists simply refer to it as Reagan. So if you wanna sound like a local and not a tourist, call it National. The airport is so close to the city that you can see Washington DC landmarks, like the Capitol Dome and Washington Monument, while you're sitting in your plane on the runway. If you arrive outside of rush hour, you could potentially get from your gate to your hotel in a cab in 20 minutes. And since the distance is so short, cabs are relatively cheap. A ride downtown shouldn't cost you more than $30, even including tip. On my last couple of trips through this airport, I actually wound up taking a regular taxi. I checked the Uber and Lyft apps, and in both cases, they were actually more expensive. So I actually don't recommend Uber or Lyft for this airport, but it is an option. Reagan National has a metro station just a short walk from the terminal. So if you're more concerned about cost than time, you can ride the metro and get downtown for between $2.50 and $3. The airport metro station is on the blue and yellow lines, so if you're staying in a hotel that's close to either of those lines, this could be a really convenient option. And I have a full dedicated video about how to ride the Metro in from the airport if you wanna give it a look. Reagan National is a domestic airport, which means there is no customs and border protection here. However, there are flights from Canada and a few Caribbean destinations. And that's possible because all of those places have CBP preclearance, which means you clear the US border in those countries before you even get on the plane. There are around 100 nonstop destinations that you can access from Reagan National. Most of them are in the eastern half of the country, but there are a few destinations in the west as well. American Airlines has the most flights out of this airport, followed by Southwest, followed by Delta. But no single airline has a majority of the market share, which is good for you because more competition means more choices and usually better prices. Bottom line is that if the price is right and the timing works, you should prefer to fly out of here over the other two airports. That said, sometimes the pricing or timing doesn't work. So let's talk about the other two airports, starting with Dulles. In 2022, the Metro Silver Line extension serving Dulles finally opened and in my opinion, this is a huge upgrade for this airport. You can now take a one-seat ride between downtown DC and the airport. And it's really cheap. 
In 2023, the maximum fare is $6, and potentially even less if you ride during off-peak hours or on the weekends. I have an entire dedicated video about how to ride Metro in from Dulles, so you can watch that if you want to see how to do it. Now, while I am thrilled to have the Metro out to the airport, and how it's personally how I have traveled out here on my past few trips, it is not a quick ride. On my most recent trip, from the time I stepped off the plane until the time I walked into my home, it was one hour and 45 minutes. And that was a best case scenario with no checked luggage, no delays, and relatively little waiting. If you wanna get into the city a little faster, there is one official taxi company that serves Dulles, Washington Flyer. In 2023, the estimated cost of a taxi ride is between 63 and $71, plus tip and should take between 30 and 40 minutes. Though if you land during afternoon rush hour, it could be more than 40 minutes. So be aware of the time when you arrive. Uber and Lyft are both available here, but in 2023, I would not count on it being cheaper than a taxi. Dulles currently has over 60 US nonstop destinations and over 70 international nonstop destinations. So if you're flying in from another country and have a nonstop flight to Dulles, I would absolutely take that. For example, if I was traveling to say London, I would much rather take the nonstop flight from Dulles to Heathrow rather than a flight from Reagan National that stops in New York City or Atlanta to change planes. United Airlines has by far the most flights out of Dulles with around 70% of the total. So if you are loyal to United, Dulles is going to have a lot of options. Bottom line is that Dulles can be a good option for some travelers, and the Metro makes it a much more attractive airport than it used to be. In the other direction is Baltimore Washington International, or BWI. Because it serves two major cities, BWI actually has the highest air passenger traffic of all three airports, but it's the farthest from DC, about 40 miles away. Metro does not run to BWI, but there is a BWI train station where Amtrak and Maryland commuter trains stop. To get to DC from BWI, you have to take a shuttle bus from the terminal to the train station and then a train into Union Station. I have an entire dedicated video showing you how to use the Maryland commuter train called Mark to make this journey. In 2023, the Mark fare is $8, and it takes about 40 minutes into Union Station. If you catch an Amtrak train, you can get in in as little as 30 minutes, but a last minute ticket might cost over $20. Like Dulles, BWI also has its own dedicated taxi company. In 2023, the estimated cost for a cab ride to DC is $90 plus tip. And with no traffic, would take about 45 minutes. But let's be realistic, there's probably going to be traffic and this ride can easily take over an hour. Uber and Lyft are both available here, but like the two other airports in 2023, I would not automatically assume they're cheaper or more convenient. There is a Maryland commuter bus, the 201, that connects to the Shady Grove Metro station way out at the end of the red line. But this is not a good option for most DC tourists. So unless you're staying way out at the end of the red line for some reason, I would not worry about it. BWI currently has nonstop flights to about 90 destinations mostly domestic. Southwest Airlines has by far the most flights out of BWI, with about 70% of the total. So if you're loyal to Southwest, BWI is going to give you a lot of options. However, since Southwest has relatively little competition at BWI, sometimes you can fly on Southwest to Reagan National Airport for less. So always check both and don't just assume that the less convenient airport means less expensive prices. Once you arrive in DC, you'll probably want to use Metro to get yourself around. So I highly recommend watching my Metro do's and don'ts to get yourself comfortable. Just go ahead and click or tap right over here to check it out. Enjoy your trip.